fellas, right now we are hunting up on this little hill slide. And you can see we came across a snake here in Arizona that has some of the most immaculate camouflage that you see amongst this leaf litter. This is the Arizona black rattlesnake, Cortalis cerberus. And this guy is absolutely stunning. And the cool thing about these fellas is whenever they're babies, they will actually be a light, light gray with these black blotches going down their body. And then as they grow into an adult, they'll get far more black as they get older. And this can vary depending on where they live too. This juvenile luckily has this awesome black color with these yellow cross bands. And you can see their disposition too. Extremely placid, and really the only way you're gonna get one of these to be mean is basically if you treat them rough or mean to them. But uh, absolutely placid snake, he's real chill. I mean, only rattling just because I'm sitting here holding them, trying to keep them from running. But an awesome, awesome snake. And like I said before, their camouflage works perfectly to their advantage. They'll sit amongst this leaf litter and just coil up. And a good friend of mine says they look just like cow patties. Whenever you're walking through the leaf litter, you'll just see this big lump of black. And they kind of bury themselves amongst it, and they can hunt from this position as well. Another thing that's unique about these rattlesnakes is depending on their temperature or their mood, they can actually change in color. So while this guy's black, if I were to bag him, the stress that he kind of feels whenever he's bagged may cause his, his color to turn gray. It is pretty unique to them. It's almost like a chameleon that's mood causes his color to change. Because a lot of people think that, oh, a chameleon will change his color based on his surroundings. And that's not just necessarily true. Their color actually changes based on the mood that they're feeling or the stress that they're under. And these snakes are the exact same way. Their color can actually darken or lighten depending on the mood or temperature that they're in. So that is a fascinating thing that these snakes go through. These guys max out somewhere around 42 inches in length. So they're not necessarily huge rattlesnakes, but you can see them get real, real thick. They are very, very popular among people who live here in Arizona, and some people even call them timber rattlesnakes just because they're dark color, because a lot of the timber rattlesnakes over in the eastern United States, they can be real black in color. And so they just came to a misconception of thinking that this is a timber rattlesnake found here in Arizona, when in fact it's actually its own species, Crotalus cerberus and uh, the Arizona black rattlesnake. Absolutely gorgeous specimen. And uh, the cool thing about them too is their venom is primarily a hemotoxin, but it's not necessarily something that uh, is as potent as some of the other rattlesnakes, but it does have some high necrotic effects. So if you ever are tagged, you want to make sure you get to the hospital, but chances of that, slim to none. Unless you're out here picking on them or messing on them or accidentally step on something that you thought was a cow patty, you're pretty much not going to get bit by these fellas because as you can see, he's not out to get me. This guy's sitting right here, and I'm this close to him, and he's just saying, I want to go that way. I don't want to go this way. This guy's right here. He's got a hook, and he's messing with me. I want to go that direction away from this guy. That's rattlesnakes for you. They just want to kind of get away from you. Definitely fighting is their last resort. So we're going to let this beautiful guy go on his way. Hopefully, he'll find him some lizards, some ground squirrels, or some rodents over here to try and feast upon. But absolutely beautiful snake. Got to praise God for this guy because, man, he is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, getting to find one of these out here is kind of against your uh, against your eyes just because their camouflage is so immaculate. I mean, getting to see this guy amongst the leaf litter like this, perfect find. So praise God for this fella.